Morning everyone. I say morning. It's just gonna have four in the morning. And I'm going out for a quick day sesh. So I say it's half four. I'm just I'm in my shed at the minute. I've just nipped out here to grab me a tripod that I'll need today. So yeah, just that was it. I'm just off for the day. Uh, I'll give you a bit more information about the lake and where I'm fishing and everything when I get there. But like I said, I've just nipped out into the shed to quick grab me a tripod and then I've already loaded the car, all the gears in. Um, so, yeah, I'd say I'll give you a quick flip your end, quick tour of my shed while I'm in here. Bit of bait and whatnot. Yeah, that's what I've just nipped in for, just pick my tripod up. But yeah, rolling tables, bait making gear. Storage for me tackle, but like I say, half of it's in car anyway, and then whipping back round to again more storage baits, clothing, more bait, footwear. So that is it. Like I say, car's already loaded. Uh, I'm just gonna get a coffee on and everything now, and um. Yeah, make a move. So I will see you guys later on when I'm down the lake. So until then, take care, guys. Right then. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to episode nine. You join me down at a place called Upham Upham Farm Fishery, which is just um, just just outside Exeter. In um, Devon, so like I say, I'm, I'm here for the day. This is episode nine. Uh, I've got set up. I haven't bro bothered bringing me bivy or anything. Just got both rods out. I'm just using my um, usual setups on them. The uh, my lead coil leaders. Um, with homemade free ounce leads, fish drop off style. Um, I've just put them both in the margins, I'll show you the spots in a minute. So I'm just in the middle of sorting a brew out at the moment. But like I say, yeah, both rods are right. Both fish in the same leader setup with um, cell wafters on fishing a uh, spinner rig, Ronnie rig, I say that's the same on both rods, I've just stuck my left hander down in the left hand margin and my right hander down in the right hand margin, so yeah I'll show you the spots in a bit, for now I'm just going to get a coffee on and hopefully this mist will clear. But yeah, fingers crossed, like I say, I've never been here before. Um, I believe, I've just been told off one of the guys who's apparently a regular here, that they go in here up till upper 20s. Up to 29, I believe, so. Won't one of them be nice? But like I say, yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee on. And, yeah, I'll give you guys a share in a bit if anything happens. Like I said, I will show you the um, spots where I've got my rods and show you a bit more of the lake as the day goes on. So until then guys, I will speak to you in a bit. Like I said, this is where I am. 
Upham Farm and I'm in peg 5 like I say I've got my left hander right there right tight to that reed bull rush that's me right under again right in the corner so I say I'm in peg five and then the next peg along is that one over there which is peg six there's no pegs from that one all the way around to me on this side so yeah right under is in that side and my left under is literally right here That's it, that's base camp. So yeah, nothing is yet. At least all that mist is cleared. That's our uh, fingers crossed. We will get into one, or even two. One would be nice. You only need to catch one for it not to be a blank. leave it there for now guys and give you a shout if anything happens right then guys that is it unfortunately it's a short and sweet one this time that's it that was episode 9 nothing happened at the lake I had at most a couple of little single single bleeps they had little bounce but nothing I didn't catch anything and to be fair, the other four or five who were fishing it also didn't have very much. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's been a blank. Um, so, it's been a short video this time. Like I say, that was episode nine at Upham. I probably will go there again. Uh, speaking to a couple of regulars who fish it a bit more often, I think it might be more a bit of a night water. So, I will try. I will keep my eye on it and uh, yeah probably venture out there for another sesh but that's it I've just got back just about unloaded all the gear now back in the shed just having a cold beer gonna get changed and have a nice hot shower so until next time guys um, I'm thinking I may be out in a couple of weeks time because I'm uh, Eastmore um, M and B's East shuts at the end of October because uh, we're now about the 11th I think 12th of October so he shuts in about three weeks uh, so I'm hoping to do one last session there before he shuts and then from the end of October beginning of November I don't know where I'll be because I'm looking at joining a uh, local club water next January from 1st of January next year so I'll be spending most of my time there so like I say if I might ideally in the next week possibly fortnight but I definitely want to get back on MMB um, before the end, before he shuts because he shuts end of 31st of October until 1st of April so five months he's shut for so I say hopefully that may be my next session out. Uh, probably be a 24 or if I've got time a 48. And yeah, but apart from that, I've nothing else penciled in. So yeah, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I say, I do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to leave any comments, um, anything like that please feel free good or bad and I will speak to you guys on the next session so I think that's about it so yeah sorry it's been a short one but can't smash it every time smashing it once would be nice so until next time guys take care tight lines and wet nets